Hey guys, so this is a little bit of a different setting right now. I'm in the kitchen where I spent all day restoring this item and it's not even fully restored yet because this needs to, still needs to be replaced. This is temporary, but it's good enough. So I thought I would do a review on this item and I'll probably do um, more filming of this when it is fully restored. But for now, we have the placeholder stuff, so it's fine. This is the Seasonal Visions International 2008 Animated Nightmare Reaper. It was sold on QVC, I uh, believe exclusively. This was also Mike Reynolds, the lead designer of Seasonal Visions, first item that he designed. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, there's a lot to go over. For one, this thing is pretty tall. It is seven feet. Which is pretty cool. Um, it also had a rib cage, which is actually right here, attached to it. But it needs to be sewn back on. You can actually see it in the product photo. This actually came off the box, just completely off of it. So I'm probably just gonna put this on its new box. This is six eight. It's seven feet. Um, yeah, two thousand eight. So, cool, a few really cool things about this um, is actually the quality, the material. This is resin. And this is part of the staff. Now, it's not on it because the arm cannot move with it. The motor is just weak. This is also resin. <coughs> Pardon my cough. I'm still a little sick. Um, the animation is pretty straightforward. I'm not going to turn it on because it has trouble moving. It's so slow. The arm moves forward and backwards. The head moves side to side. Now I got this off of eBay for $260. Um, it was originally $275, made a deal with the seller for $260. Um, and this is I just came from Jordan Gilliam. And I got a couple complaints about this particular item and how it came. If you saw my live stream when I unboxed it, you would know. So Jordan Gilliam had advertised this thing as new. The quality was new. There's some damage, damage, down there's damage, uh, damage. There's a lot of damage on this item, even this, uh, damaged. He claims he called it new because it had never been used, and that's clearly a lie, solely because none of the original packaging was in there. This had been used. Oh yeah. There's, there's no doubt about it, it had never been used. It, 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 it it's... It's been used. Um, I actually want to talk about some of this damaging right here. Now, I bet some of you are wondering, what the hell happened here? Rats got in the box. And I, I threw away the box. It was disgusting. Rats got in the box. And when I took this out, it was covered in rat droppings. Which is why the original cloth, like cheesecloth is gone. Because it was ruined, stained, and disgusting. It was unsalvageable. Um, it had, it, this whole thing's been washed, so you know, uh, with different methods. Um, but it's, it's been washed, but it had rat droppings all over it, which is a health hazard. And to mention, me and my whole family are severely allergic to rats. So while cleaning this, I was having allergic reactions to it. <coughs> um, and th that just wasn't fun. Uh, I did notify Jordan Gilliam of this issue. And, um, again, he was saying, oh, well, it is new because it's never been used. It, this thing has been used. It's got enough wear and tear on it to show that it has been used. Um, he had also claimed that he didn't know there was rat droppings. But he also said he took parts of it out of the box. Everything was covered in rat feces. So if you took parts out of it, you would know there would be rat feces. Um, I mean, you, you would know. So, a few fibs there um, with what he told me when I notified him on eBay. I mean, it's offered me 30% off the next purchase. Honestly, Jordan, you're probably going to see this. I don't know if I really want to buy it from you again after this experience. Like, a few other things is that um, this was, this had arrived very late. I think it's like the 15th, 14th, 15th. Supposed to be here on the 10th. Um, on my eBay, it said it had been posted on December 5th, but it turned out that was false. It actually was sent out December 12th. 
Now I don't know if that has to, if that's a salary thing. If, if they put in this thing's been posted, this is like my second thing I bought from eBay, so I'm still learning. Or if eBay automatically does that, but it did say it was posted on the fifth when it had not. It was supposed to, said it was supposed to arrive on the tenth. Did not notified Jordan, and then Jordan sent it on the twelfth. Not too impressed with that. Um. I mean, besides the fact that it's been damaged and that I'm having to do a lot of restorations on this still, it's a pretty cool prop. I like it, honestly. Um, I do really want to resort to its full glory. I want it to look like that again. And it kind of did. Um, the cheesecloth was disgusting, which told me it had definitely been used. It was pretty bad. I mean, it was all matted and yeah. It actually doesn't even have its instructions either, so it tells me this thing had been used. How the box looked, it had been used, tape was removed. Every, I mean, this thing had been used. For sure. I ain't stupid. <laughs> um, I honestly can't tell you where to buy this. You know, it's it's pretty rare. I mean, this is a very rare item. And it's a pretty cool item. I like it. Um, I'm going to do a video comparing this guy to a 2020 Reaper prop. But same company, Seasonal Visions, and lived by this same um, sculptor, Mike Reynolds. So literally really cool to show. Well, also another thing I want to talk about is the hand too. Um, no, no dry rotting on this. It's um, vinyl. This is vinyl. This is not like this. This is either vinyl or rubber. Pretty sure it's vinyl. Um, but it po it's posable. Um, it is not hold on that staff very well. Um, I've noticed that. It'll slip, and it'll just come off. Uh, but yeah, so this is actually kind of before the demo. Well, because I really want to talk about the issue of this eBay seller. Um, I've had people express similar issues with items not at all being how they are described. If you haven't heard the story already, and I know the person very well, um, someone also bought a Spirit of Fire pumpkin from Jordan Gilliam. It had a rod covered in white spray paint. Um, I know that person very well. Um, they own it, and I've spoken to them about it. So, I mean, there's just a lot. I, I am very unhappy with how I've had to fix this whole item. And another thing I would like to point out, again, Jordan, as you said, you took parts of this out of the box, surely you would know about the damages. And you did not put those in your listing. So your listing was deceitful. He didn't mention. You said you said it was like new, and it was not. Said never been used. It obviously has. Almost everything you had told me, I can contradict right now. Especially after, especially after taking this whole entire thing apart. You take off all the clothing and everything. I can tell you, you were lying to me. Tell everyone you were lying to me because you were. And I'm not too impressed by that. Um, Again, I don't know if I, I, I probably will not buy it from you ever again. I'm like not even remotely impressed with this. I mean, th this is this, this is kind of from someone who sells things to people. This is unacceptable. You know, you sold something to someone that is a biohazard. Pretty sure that's actually what you would consider that a biohazard. Um, you were deceitful about your listing, and and you knew you would lie to the buyer. Knowing, thinking I was stupid, I'm not. The amount of wear and tear of this item definitely tells me that it, you know, had been used. So, um, I think when I buy things from you, I'm gonna rate the buyer inside of the item because, well, actually, the item itself is really good. I give it a ten out of ten, honestly. The motor isn't the best, but it's also 2008. It's old. It's crap. So. The head's pretty heavy, and it's resin. The buyer... I'll have to get one star. I'm just not impressed. At all. You know. You lied to my face. You gave me something that was a biohazard. Your cl your claims don't add up. If you took parts of it out of the box, you would know. It was covering rat feces. So. I really can't give you a good review. Sorry, but yeah, 
that is my seven foot seasonal visions 2008 reaper i was really hoping this would be a more fun happy review but i spent all day it's dark out i spent all day trying to fix and restore this item i've spent i mean hours and i'm tired and i'm upset really upset and hopefully by the time the haunt is open and ready this will be fully restored uh, my fingers crossed i'm having to spend more money on this item to fix it for 260 this was up this was absolute garbage you know so yeah um i will see you all in the next one bye guys